Welcome back to our personal confession devotional. Today is day 10 and the word of God is being sown into our hearts and I'm excited about it. Um, day 10 is all about learning the importance of knowing God is good and that he will not lead us to harm. However, he delivers us from darkness. He delivers us from temptation. He delivers us from evil. Amen. Um, today's actual confession is any adversity, attack, accident, and tragedy that was headed my way are diverted right now in Jesus' name. I believe God has given us the authority over um, things that try to come our way. We've already seen um, in Psalm 91 the promises of God of protection, the promises of God of angels. Um, so I just go even further and say, listen, anything that was planned against me, you know, the devil schemes. He has traps that he tries to set. Well, as a child of God, I've been delivered from darkness. I've been delivered from that old life. You know, I no longer am ruled by the enemy, nor can he have any territory in my life. So I say any adversity, any attack, any accident or tragedy that was headed my way today, right now by the blood of Jesus, by the divine angels in my life, by the word of God and his promise, right now they're diverted. That means they go a different turn. That means, man, it, it was coming and the word of God has been a shield. You know, I believe the word of God is a shield of faith, quenching every fiery dart that comes our way. And so we can stand on God's word. Today's scriptures, um, you can, you know, hand out to your, your kids or those who are, are doing this devotion with you. There's not too many today. Um, there's Second Thessalonians 3.3 3 is a great one. It talks about the Lord delivering us from the evil one. These scriptures are going to put faith inside your, your family. Isaiah 41.10 talks about who God is, how he's going to uphold you. He'll strengthen you. Um, Psalm 23, um, you can read the whole chapter. It's only um, a few verses. But it talks about, you know, even when you walk through the shadow of the valley of the shadow of death. That means not death, not the circumstance itself, but just even the shadow. You know, God's going to be with you. His rod and his staff, that symbolizes the word of God, is going to comfort you. Um, he prepares a table for you, you know, in the presence of your enemies. That means it right there in the middle of that storm or situation, God has his favor upon you and he's going to deliver you and he's going to prepare every provision you need. So as you read through these scriptures, you know, know that God is good. Everything from him is good. There's no shadow of turning in him. So that there can't be evil. There can't be darkness. So when we know that, we can encourage our families. Don't allow darkness to come over you. Don't allow depression or discouragement or defeat Know that everything that, that was assigned to you, God has reversed. God has cursed every assignment. And so as we teach them these scriptures, you know, I encourage you, take time to go through them in a different translation. Let them come alive. You know, as you write down the devotional, um, maybe there's a few words that jump out that you can look up in the dictionary to get a more in-depth meaning and understanding. This is how you study God's word. It's not just about reading a word or reading a scripture. You know, I know we have like Bible reading plans and those are great. It builds great habits. It gets your, it gets your priorities, right? But when we're studying as a family, it's important to take time for the word of God and, and let them, you know, discover what God's speaking to them. And so through this, you know, um, any adversity, attack, accident, nothing, you know, my challenge today is that you take this word of God and you assign it to your day, you know, do it intentional, you know, think about the things that could happen and r right away address it. You know, if it's the same situation that just keeps reoccurring in your life, the same sickness or the same issue or the same temper or same addiction, address it right now. In the name of Jesus, God's delivered me from this evil. If it doesn't line up with the word of God, then, hey, you know, it's not good, then it's sin. You know, so whatever that is today, go ahead and assign the word of God to attack that situation. Speak it out of your mouth. Confess it. This will not defeat me today. Um, the more you do that, I'm telling you, the word 
will go forth. The Bible says that he sent his word and he healed them. That his word will go out and it will not come back void, but it will accomplish what it was meant to do. So take the word of God today, speak it, um, challenge your family to do the same. And again, watch the word of God work in your life.